If I was punk, nigga, I'd vomit my mouth. If I won hella tournaments, won like multiple, this nigga punk won like over 300,000 in winnings, I, nigga, I would vomit in my mouth. I probably wouldn't touch this game again until next season. I wouldn't touch it, bro. I, the fact anybody mentioned a Street Fighter in my stream, I, I probably I probably ban them or let's watch this shit. Honestly, you shit. I mean, what else is a sixteen-year-old nigga gonna do? You're not getting no bitches. You know, you got a round-ass face. Clearly eating a bunch of junk. You're not athletic, so you should be playing video games. I guess the fuck else you gonna do? They got a thick-ass neck. Motherfucker, just come home, eat, play Street Fighter Six. That's it. Go to school, do homework, eat hella fucking bullshit foods. Zero athleticism. Come home, eat more snacks, and play six. It has nothing to do with skill, dumbass nigga. I'm about tired of your bitch ass too. It has nothing to do with skill. This game allows people to skip skill levels, dumbass nigga. You don't know shit about fighting games, bruh. You didn't play hard fighting games. You know nothing about fighting games. You on my shit list, bruh. You probably couldn't do a one fucking frame link to save your fucking life. Y'all gotta remember, Punk played four, five now six so i'm always i'm always gonna have a soft spot for niggas that play four always i'm not hating on a kid you dumb ass you dumb worthless ass nigga but i'm blocking bitch ass niggas out my chat like y'all give a fuck about your sub bitch ass nigga the fuck nigga fuck you so anybody saying i'm hating you're a dumb ass i could give my fucking opinion you stupid fuck fighting games is how i got on the scene fighting games is how the fuck i got knowing you dumb fuck so anybody saying I'm hate, you're gonna be banned out of my fucking chat, bruh. Like you, you're banned. Anybody, like, I'm cooking all you bum ass niggas, bro. This is my stream, I'm gonna say what the fuck I want. Anybody from the one frame link era, I'm always gonna rock with you. All right, let's peep this set. I'm gonna just call out every fake ass thing I see. <laughs> Nigga threw out double stand fierce. Nigga, this is casual as it gets. This nigga threw out double stand fears. This nigga pressed stand fears off wake up. Bro, what, what kind of fucking game is this, bro? Oh, it's a game that a random fluffy face nigga could just come and never play no other shit, could come and body a nigga that won multiple tournaments and cooked hella niggas. Wake up, stand fierce, bro. This game is remedial, bro. This game is, is designed for random niggas to come off the couch. I honestly feel like anybody that plays the game for 30 days has a chance of beating me. You got a chance of beating Punk 2, clearly. You said he's on Wi-Fi too? This is the most simplest in Street Fighter. When when you have niggas waking up with stand fierce, it's an issue. I'm gonna let it play a little bit more. Nigga woke up with stand fierce as a return and it worked. Nigga did stand fierce, stand fierce again and it worked. Punk lost because he got thrown off by a nigga playing random. So how did Punk cook this nigga? And he must have he started going random on this dude. The dude must have started going random on Punk. Fake ass perfect Perry. That's not a real Perry. That's two buttons. That's not what Perry is called. That's not how Perry is a real Perry's performance. It's called pressing forward, taking a risk. Okay, starting to ice skate. Ice skate it again, skip neutral, that's how you got it. All right, so look at this, ice skate, let, uh, all right, boom, easy ass, confirm, if that's a one frame link, it never lands. Let's see, does this confirm? Okay, see, that's the problem with this game right there. That's the fucking problem with Street Fighter 6. Why do you get plus frames for, for doing drive rush and neutral? This right here, why is that plus? That's the issue with this game. You should lose your turn for doing drive rush and pressing the normal. Because if you're already clearing neutral, you get, you're clearing neutral, right? So if you're clearing neutral, why do you get rewarded for clearing neutral when you should be battling for neutral? You're clearing neutral and you get a plus frame. Yo, this game is a joke, bro. I really hope they nerfed that shit. Just the same way, they, remember when, remember when V-Trigger activation used to be plus two on block and they nerfed it? It's just like the Ryu not even doing nothing specific. It's just like, that nigga perfect punk. Like, yo, I, yo, yo, I'm gonna keep pausing it because I don't give a shit. I've never been perfect more in a video game in my life than Street Fighter 6. This is the easiest game for a nigga to get a perfect on you. Street Fighter 6. This nigga perfect punk doing nothing phenomenal, just using the scrub ass mechanics to get it.
All right, let me see. It feels to confirm. It's like, okay, so that's how drive rush should work. That right there is how drive rush should work. See how he confirmed it, then drive rush? I don't, I don't got no problem with that. That's how drive rush should work. If you land something, drive rush should be confirmable. Only Drive rush should only be plus frames if you confirm it. Not, okay, I'm gonna just throw it out there. So what he did right there, this is how Street Fighter 6 should work with drive rush, boom. Either I'm gonna, either I'm gonna get closer to be negative or I'm gonna confirm. Easy ass combo, by the way. Try to do a combo like that, bro. I bet a thousand dollars. This kid couldn't do it. No high level fucking goddamn challenges in Street Fighter 4. The nigga would flunk out. But the combos are so easy. How do you drop them? Stepdad combos, bro. Nigga don't have, even have good anti airs. How did Punk lose to this nigga? Oh, it's Street Fighter 6. They gotta change a lot of shit in this game. How do you drop that? It's easy. I could do that combo literally looking at the fucking goddamn wall. Nigga waking up a random DPs. How did Punk lose to this nigga? Nigga woke up with a throw. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, tell me about it. I was just gonna say something about it. I'm telling you, a bad player, a nigga, a random nigga will throw you off in fighting games. Cause a nigga will do some shit you never like. If you're a smart player, the worst type of niggas you could play is just dumb fucks, because they'll throw your ass off at the most rant. The nigga did drive rush axe kick. I forgot that shit was even in the fucking goddamn game. All right, so right here, the nigga clears neutral, right? So he clears something in every other fighting game you're gonna have to fight for, right? So he clears neutral and does plus, which, okay, remember your drive rush, clearing neutral, plus frame axe kick. That's, that's plus, by the way, when it should be negative. Imagine you do that as negative, you lose your turn, then we're battling for neutral again. Well, you just seen this nigga do it, because the game's, <laughs> it's, for, it's made for niggas just like this. They eat smucker sandwiches and shit. How do you drop something so easy? Uh, also, the DPs in this game, you don't auto-correct. So in, in Street Fighter 4, you have to auto-correct your own DPs. This game, the DPs auto-correct for you. Just letting you know. This right here, the game auto-corrects for you. It auto-corrects for you. Just so, just so you know, that was nothing special. The game will auto-correct your DP for you. Yeah, this is tournament. Punk got 3-0 by this guy. Oh yeah, DP motions are easier in this game too, just to let you know. Try to spam DP in third strike and it'll work. You have to fully actually obey the command. Uh, wavy life, shout out for the 3 months. All right, one thing I will say about the 16-year-old kid, he does have good spacing and decent neutral. I will say that. I'm not going to shit on him completely. The nigga has decent neutral. He's being patient. You know, it, I thought it was going to be a reckless set, but the kid does have good neutral. But he still shouldn't have beat Punk. You don't just beat somebody off, off just regular neutral with easy confirms. Easy. You're not dropping that. It's too easy. Paladin was so bad in five. Of course he was. They made six easier. And Paladin, excuse me. Nigga, what was that? Nigga did so bot stand strong because Capcom wanted to make it where any normal you got damn near basically is connectable via drive rush. Damn near anything confirms via drive rush once you land it. I guess Ryu isn't as bad as a character as people thought. 
So cleared cleared most of the screen, right? Wakes up VP, clears the screen. Um, half the screen or whatever to get pressure. Which is okay, because he didn't do, really do it normal. He just got back up and cleared some of the screen. Uh, I think Knuckle do one this shit, right? So do one. Yo, correct me if I'm wrong. So this guy eliminated Punk to make sure Punk couldn't go to Capcom Cup. And then, um, so did this guy lose to do? I'm happy for him. Man, that shit is just, I literally hate dry rush plus ramps. Do 3 Oda, crazy. That's because Dude ain't gonna respect you, bro. Dude will just literally run all, run all over you. That's how he plays, that's how he plays Street Fighter. He'll download you in a couple of seconds, realize that you're... You know, he can penetrate you. Dude is still running Street Fighter 4 live. He's on 5, isn't it? I know. Damn. That's crazy. Nigga got 3 0 by... Totino's Goblin. I thought he was gonna be like a scrub ass fucking player. He's still sucking down goober sandwiches and shit, smucker sandwiches and shit like that, and still has no business beating Punk. Just the game, it allows so much, it, it allows you to, to bridge the gap so crazy with easy fucking mechanics, easy confirms. It's just ridiculous. Street Fighter 6 definitely allowed this nigga to beat Punk. This game, I feel like any nigga that plays Street Fighter 6 for, for two weeks, 30 days could beat me.